Good morning everyone. Good morning. Today we're taking you on a day trip 80 kilometers up north from Bangkok to Asian city Ayutthaya. See what's coming up in this video. This is huge! <laughs> We are Danny and Diggy, an English-Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches, and want to see more of this beautiful country, join, join us, us on, on our, our journey. journey. Right, it's 11 o'clock now, let's catch that train. We almost forgot we need snacks on the train. Let's get some food. We got some coffee, we got some snacks. Mooping, of course, with sticky rice for breakfast. Coffee from 7 Eleven, Mooping 50 bar, and two coffees 66 bar. Breakfast at Champions. Yeah. Right. Ready for the train, let's go and get some tickets. Right, we got the tickets. How much was that? <laughs> really cheap. We're paying 15 baht each, so 30 baht altogether, which is about 80p in English yeah. for an hour and a half train journey. But the only thing is, they didn't have any second class tickets, so we've got third class tickets, but they do have a fan apparently. Yeah, so. so. Never been on third class. Yeah, we'll it, will like. be, it will be interesting. <laughs> we all only travelled with second class before. Uh, but yeah, let's get on that train. Let's find out. Right, that's our train already. Let's go. Let's get it in. I love it with the windows, you can look right out, it's so yeah. cool, yeah. Breakfast time, really good, I love Mu Ping. So cheap, tasty, with your sticky rice. It's beautiful, really good, have to try it. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're catching the train from Hua Lampung Station straight to Ayutthaya without changing, 15 baht ticket. And Danny mentioned the ticket is actually of the train, it's actually cheaper than our breakfast. <laughs> right, we're moving now, we're going. Right, after further inspection, the train is not dirty, it's just old and run down, so it's absolutely fine. We are super excited. I love this kind of train, it's so cool. Mm, we, can <laughs> we can stick our heads through the windows. <laughs> It's amazing. It's actually quite comfy as well, isn't it? Mm. I think your seats are comfy now. Yeah. For the type of journey we're doing and the distance we're doing, perfectly fine. I love it. It's cool. 15 baht. It's not like all the other trains with their health and safety. We've got the windows, you can take nice pictures out the window. It's oh, cool. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm so excited. Right, we see you in Ayutthaya. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this cool little tuk tuk. Right, let's find the bike. 
super cool journey. It was lovely. I absolutely loved it. My hair is all over the place, but well worth it. I'd advise going on the third class. Yeah. It's so cool. All right, it takes a bit longer, but one, it's cheaper, and two, you get better views and you can hang out the window. <laughs> right, let's get that bike. Okay, I think we found a place that's literally just opposite the station. Uh, we will see how we're gonna get on with renting the bike. Hopefully we can get our favorite bike, Zoom, little Zoomer, we will see. <laughs> but yeah, we had to ask about the deposit. Everyone's yeah. asking for a passport, but I really don't like leaving a passport. Yeah. I wouldn't like to leave one anywhere. Well, we have no passport anyway. We've asked it's in immigration. We've asked for a, maybe put a bigger deposit down, so we'll see. Hopefully yeah. it works. Right, bike is done. 200 bar, we have to bring it 6 p.m. So we don't have much time to explore. Let's go. I show you where you can find this place. Basically, it's just outside Ayutthaya train station by the main exit. And this is the place. I used this one before. Right, so we got the bike, but we decided we're gonna go for food first because we don't wanna be walking around and exploring in a Midday sun is super hot, so let's get some food. Right, we came to try something we never had before. It's just a quick snack before our lunch. Yeah, so we are at Roti Saimai Aberdeen, if you look for it on the Google Maps. And basically what this is, it's a flour pancake, rice flour pancake, with very thin strands of sugar. And you basically wrap it up inside and eat it like a pancake. They can be green in colour sometimes because they're coloured with pandan. Yeah. But this thing actually really reminds me of something we had in Vietnam. Phobia. Phobia. Yeah. <laughs> so let's give it a try. How much are they? 30. Ah. Come on. Ready to try? These are still warm. Oh. It's all wrapped up and ready to go. Let's give it a go. Mm. Very sweet. You can get a sugary bite. It's like a crunchy. And the pancake is really good. It's still warm. Mm. I do like this. This is a very nice snack. Mm. It's so cool because this like, uh, that literally breaks. It's so good. <laughs> Nice spin pancake. That is really good. It's all over my face as well. Try this because this is a very unique dessert. What this reminds me of, we actually have this back in the UK. It's very similar to candy floss. You know the candy floss on the sticks? It's very similar, but it's a bit more grainy, I think, and it falls to pieces a lot easier. It's very, it's very brittle. It falls to pieces very easy. But yeah, very fine, thin strands. Really sweet, really good for this hot weather. Nice snack. This place is one of the most well-known places in Ayutthaya for getting this treat. You can see there's just like a conveyor belt of cars coming yeah. in, picking up, going, coming in, picking up, going. They're constantly making new packs and bags ready to take away, so it's good. Right, let's get some proper food now. <laughs> Right, we're gonna have we're gonna have a look at the menu and definitely grab a nice cold drink as well. So we ordered some food. We've gone for king mackerel fillets, which are kind of deep fried, and we've also gone for some prawns with some veggies as well, like stir fried. It looks good. The menu looks good. So we're gonna try it out. You prob you probably will say, oh, you in Ayutthaya, you should eat some river prawns. Well, we know Ayutthaya is famous for its river prawns, but we never had river prawns before and we already have got a date with our friends tomorrow where we're going to try one of the best river prawns, so we're saving that for tomorrow. So today we're just going to have some fish and some stir-fry veggies with prawns. Can't wait. Starving. Right, so lunch has arrived. We're sitting here by the beautiful river in Ayutthaya. I can't wait to try some of this fish. 
Right, so here we've got ourselves some beans and prawns. It looks like it's cooked in, say, like a soy sauce with some mushrooms and garlic. It smells really good. And they also gave us this little salad in there was coming with it. You can smell it's limey, vinegar, and a bit of fish sauce as well. So that will go with the fish that we've got here. I'm not too sure exactly what fish this is, but it looks good. Let's get a piece of that. A bit of the salad. Mmm. That's so good. The best thing about that is the salad that goes with it. It's so refreshing, really nice. On this hot day, it's needed. Mm. It's such a cool place where we sit, honestly. It's nice and relaxed atmosphere in here. The fish is jumping all the time in the river, so it's plenty of the fish in there. Yeah, can't wait to dig in. Right, let's try some of these prawns. I can't wait. There's a lot of garlic in here, soy sauce and mushrooms. I miss mushrooms so much. Mm. Nice prawns are nice and soft. I'm happy because they're not overcooked. Lovely sauce, so much garlic. I love it. Yum. We ordered this especially for actually for the beans because we didn't have these beans for ages and we used to eat that back home all the time. Mm. Nice and crunchy as well. Perfect. Right, it's three hours until bike has to go go back, so let's go and explore the area now. As you know, Ayutthaya is famous for its temples, so that's where we're going now. So there's so many temples and ruins here to list, so we're going to pick off, say, four or five and try and hit them all in the next three hours. So let's get cracking. Let's go. buy a ticket if you're going to lots of these paid temples you can get a combined ticket which will cost you 200 baht each which allows you entry i think to six of the main ones we're not going to every main one so it works out cheaper to buy one by one let's go make sure you ladies cover up you actually entering the temple so i've got my scarf ready that's gonna be amazing so hot outside Thank you. Thank you. You look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. This looks amazing. These ladies looked so pretty today. <laughs> it is so good within yeah. these temples. Yeah, with all the traditional clothing, it's really cool. Amazing. Is this the main temple, baby? It's not one of the main temples, but it's one of the ones that everyone comes to visit. This one ah. is called Wat Chai Wat Ta Panaram. No, oh, I can't say it. <laughs> Yeah, so this temple here is called Wat Chai Wat Tanaram, if I got it right. You can comment below if I say it completely wrong. But this one is quite highly restored. Before, this wasn't the prang was damaged or the stupas were damaged. This one's quite highly restored, but it's nice to see it restored and what it kind of originally would have looked like. So let's go have a look around and explore. Yeah, so this temple is actually built in the 17th century. So this is an old Buddhist monastery, basically. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so this place is actually built in the 17th century. And this is a Buddhist temple. The thing I'd love to do is actually go up inside, but this one you're not allowed to. There is one that you can go inside, but you may visit. We shall see if we have time. <laughs> this main centre one is called a prang. Mm -hmm. The ones around the outside are stupas. Ah, yeah, okay. So this is the prang. So this is the main prang behind me and all these little ones around it, they're called stupas. Again, you see, when you look at this, this is kind of with the Kaima influence. So if you've been to Angkor Wat or Cambodia, it's a very similar architecture, as you can tell with the prang in behind. Mm -hmm. This one looks, if you look this from outside, it looks very similar to Angkor Wat, even the shape of it as well. Yeah, it's very similar. It looks cool.
We are just basically checking out the statues here and look all the bats on top over there. Obviously, as with all these temples, there's so much information. I can't tell you all this information, but if you ever do come here, you have loads of plaques down everywhere. So it tells you the history, when it was made, when it was built, what it was built for. So come here, you can find out all the history yourself. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Danny. <laughs> we just like to walk around and look at this, this stuff because it's just so different, Ooh. so beautiful. Oh, look at this one. Right, guys, let's move on to the next one. Let's go. Much needed is so hot. Mm. Yeah, quick coconut break, quick refreshment. It's hot today, very hot. And when you're driving around between all these temples, there's not much shade, so keep hydrated. <laughs> So we've arrived at our next temple. I think you can tell what it's famous for because you can see it right behind me. This is huge. <laughs> Look at that. Look. Look how big that is. Check out my size compared to his feet. Wow! So just behind reclining Buddha there is this prank which is origination hall or what's left from that origination hall. Really right. liking it here so far. Yeah. It's beautiful. And the thing is, what I like is actually walk around freely around the grounds. Mm. You can walk right up to the big Buddha and stand right next to it. Mm. Which is quite cool. I love and, it. And this one was completely free. Yeah, this is a free one. So Come and check this one out. It's right by the road. You can see it straight yeah. from the road. I love the big reclining Buddha though. <laughs> I wonder if this is as big as the one in Bangkok. No, in Bangkok is bigger, I think. Bigger? You mean the Wat Po? Yes, yeah. Yeah, I think it's... I think... Wat Po is bigger? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> right, we're done in here. Off to the next one. We're so happy we're back on our favorite little Zuma. Market. There's loads of people dressed up in traditional clothing as well. The road to the temple we wanted to go is blocked. There's market all over the place. Yeah, let's walk, let's walk quickly through it and see what it's like. My god, there is a pink elephant in front of us. It's coming straight towards us. I'm not us. even joking. You'll see in a second. It's pink. I don't know if it's painted or is I don't know what is going on. It's pink. Oh, elephant. Pink. pink elephant. Pink elephant. <laughs> right. It's yeah. a pink elephant. <laughs> Seems like there's so many stalls there. This actual market stroke celebration, I think, for Chinese mm. New Year, it's massive. I haven't seen a market this big in ages. No. Absolutely ages. Wasn't expecting this here. No. We actually came to see what Fasi Sampet, which was the royal palace. Well, all these grounds from the royal palace seem to be taken over by this massive festival. There's lots of food. This is ice, ice cream. Ice cream. And everyone's dressed up in traditional yeah. clothes. Yeah. Such. yeah. This looks massive. I don't know where to look. This looks amazing. Right. We are lost. The roads are blocked off to the places where we wanted to go, are they? Yeah. So basically, we will just explore what we got left in here. There's a lovely temple behind us. We're just going to quickly walk through it and show you what it looks like. But. So this area is meant to be the king's royal palace. So this is Wat Tha Si Sampet, but we can't find it because everything's covered with all the festival. Yeah. So the roads are, around. Yeah, the roads are blocked off as well. There's no access to places. 
Right, we're not gonna waste any more time in here because literally everything is blocked off. There is no even access to go into the, this one. So yeah, let's move on. Yeah, so I said Chinese New Year, so there's festivals everywhere. We didn't realize they'd have a massive one here in mm. Ayutthaya, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's lovely to see. Shame we don't have more more time to explore. I wish yeah. we would have stayed here stayed overnight. Night. Yeah. Mm. That was cool. original plan, but we had we didn't have enough time in Bangkok. Guess what? I think I saw ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Even police is dressed up. <laughs> ah, so reason for the elephants down there actually, I just looked it up. There's an Ayutthaya elephant palace. I think they do feeding and stuff down there, like when there isn't big festivals on. But there's so many of them around, loads of them. It really strangled me. Such a cool day. Only one and a half hour away from Bangkok. 15 bar you pay to get here. Amazing day out. Can't go wrong. I'm having so much fun. Let's go. We are so sorry we can't stay longer and show you guys what's gonna be happening here because it looks like it's gonna be so much fun. You're never gonna guess what. <laughs> The next temple we wanted to go to, the road is blocked off by police as well because of the festivities going on around Ayutthaya today, around Old Town. So, what we decided to do is park the bike and walk around. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to show you everything we had planned, so we do apologize for that. We will have to go back to Ayutthaya one more time and explore it properly, but we can check out maybe some snacks, some nice cold drinks and hopefully, hopefully to see the one last temple. Right, let's explore because we only have one hour left and we have to give up our bike. Sugar overload today. <laughs> Look at the size of this drink. Bucket filled with ice and Fanta. <coughs> so nice. The tuk-tuks here are so strange, check them out. They're tiny, but look at the front. <laughs> it looks like a VW Beetle, kind of. A lot different from Bangkok. Oh. <laughs> Last temple of the day is this one. What? What? Mahatat. Right, guys, no drinks in this temple with you, so the lovely gentleman is going to look after our drink for us. Right, I think this is the better one from all of them we've seen so far. Yeah, there's more complete ruins here and it seems a lot bigger and it's not so spread out. So yeah. you can see a lot just in literally one view. You can see a lot here. There's loads of the prangs, those are stupas. And you can see the main prang in the middle, it's collapsed. But you can see it would have been massive. Yeah. It looks amazing. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Hey guys, I haven't given you many facts yet actually. So, actually Ayutthaya was founded in 1350 and it was basically the second, second capital city of the Siam Kingdom. So yeah, Ayutthaya actually flourished between the 14th and the 18th centuries and actually became one of the world's biggest cosmopolitan and urban cities in the world. Amazing! But in 1767, the Burmese army actually destroyed Ayutthaya. They burned it to the ground, as you can see by all the ruins behind me. And they basically pushed out all the people who lived here and they never actually rebuilt this city again. Never rebuilt it. And what you see now is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and all these ruins through the whole of Ayutthaya. And what I didn't know before I came here is actually Ayutthaya is an island. It's surrounded by rivers. So yeah. I love this place, it's beautiful. Let's go see some more. The stop we want to show you next is really, really cool picture. Well, 
really cool statue of the Buddha's head. It looks amazing, but it might take a while to take a picture. Yeah, so this is a head of a sandstone Buddha and it was placed here and now it's all encroached with this tree. It looks really cool and it's a nice photo opportunity for people as well. But remember, when you come here, sit down. You cannot be raised higher than the Buddha's head. So, as you can see, we sat down right in front of it here. Yeah, cool. We found it. Finally. <laughs> so yeah, we absolutely loved our Ayutthaya trip. Shame we can't stay here longer. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. well, unfortunately, unfortunately, we have plans tomorrow with our friends but we're definitely gonna come back and explore for a little bit longer. Next time we're around Bangkok, we're probably gonna stay overnight. Yeah, this place, it advise you, you can do it in one day, they advise you two days. We haven't had the whole complete day, so we've only had a little snippet yeah. of Ayutthaya. We need to come back and do it justice and see it properly. Right, we we'll have to move pretty fast. Let's go. Right, bike is done. We returned the bike, no problems over there. Now we have to find more snacks and get on the train back to Bangkok. We only had five hours in Ayutthaya and people say it takes two days to explore. We only had five hours. <laughs> we have to come back. So yeah, it seemed very rushed today. We didn't see everything mm. we wanted to see. Yeah. But we had a snippet and we know we want to be back. So it's a good thing. We want to come back and explore it properly. Definitely. Maybe stay a night, I think. Yeah, or even two. It's a little bit easier. Yeah, it's a train, this one. It's very busy train, yeah. Lucky. It's a bit older than the last one as well. <laughs> Lucky to get the seat together. So guys, remember, if you like this video, give us thumbs up. That will help to promote this video. And also, subscribe to the channel because there's more stuff coming from Thailand. A lot more coming, so yeah, stay tuned and keep yeah. watching. Bye. Bye. One more thing, tomorrow we're going on the trip. We've done Anyaya again, but this time we're going not far from here actually. Ooh. We're going north of Ayutthaya, so we're gonna explore another local province. So stay tuned because it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, there's gonna be some cool stuff coming in that video, so that'll be the next video. So yeah, stay tuned, keep watching, there's some good stuff coming.